हेलो फ्रेंड्स वेलकम टू माय चैनल टुडे इज द डे 34 फोर फॉर आर पी सी एन एस ए सीरीज सो इन माई प्रीवियस वीडियो आई हैव कवर्ड हाउ वी कैन ब्लॉक अ स्पेसिफिक यू आर एल ओके एंड हाउ दिस एक्सटर्नल डायनेमिक लिस्ट वर्क वॉट एग्जैक्टली इट इज इफ यू हैव नॉट वॉस्ड आई विल लिंक दम इन टू आई बटन एंड आई ऑल्सो रिकमेंड यू टू प्लीज सी दैट In today's video, we are going to cover how can we block an application with a certain feature. So, in YouTube, let's say, or in Facebook, when you go to a Facebook dot com, okay, we have so many features inside the Facebook itself, like the chat, the videos, the other stuff. Okay, so how can you allow Facebook? But you can, you should be blocking the chats, videos, or rooms, or something like that. How can you do that? Now, with the help of that, how SSL decryption plays a role in it, okay? And also, we are going to see how can we configure that and how can we verify that. This is very important because you might get a task saying that you should block chat and allow Facebook. So, how can you do it? We are going to explain in this video. So, I'll request you to please watch. video till then also i'll request you to please subscribe my channel and hit the bell icon so that you never miss any video from me so without any further delay let's get started so friends uh, blocking in certain uh, feature of an application like facebook blocking the chats or understanding the role of ssl decryption configuration of blocking that certain action which i'm talking about like facebook block uh, facebook videos chat and all and also verifying whether it's getting blocked or not how to check all these tasks are basically lab based so we'll hit the lab and we'll try to do this and i am going to take the same lab which i have taken for elds like the external dynamic list and for url filtering for your understanding as you know and you, you guys are familiar about the lab that i am showing it to you so this would be your inside this would be your outside which is connected to internet and this is basically a management interface through which we are going to log into palo alto firewall and we'll start configuring it so our first task is to configure or to allow the facebook first okay so friends our first task would be to allow facebook okay uh, through this pc towards the internet the facebook should work and then we'll try to control the chats okay and then we'll see how it is getting blocked or it is not getting blocked so i am using facebook account basically not mine account it's basically a test account that i'm using to show you that uh, emulation okay okay so let me explain you guys that i have already configured the ip address as 101 102 and also i have configured the ssl certificate if you are not sure how to do it uh, you can check my old videos which i have covered it how to generate a ssl certificate how to uh, create a ssl decryption profile okay so if you are not sure you can check or check out the i button i will link the video down over there if you are not sure you can just go and watch that particular video okay so let's hit the dashboard of palo alto firewall like as you can see just wanted to give you about the ip address configuration that i wanted to show you that 192 168 as you can see this is the subnet and we have configured the this particular subnet uh, for our internet access okay and also if i just wanted to show you that we have a default gateway as you can see that 172 254 is our gateway and this is a default so we are connected to internet from this right now just to show you uh, about the certificates so i'll go to the certificates as i have generated the certificate as you can see okay and also i have configured the ssl 
or decryption profile as you can see SSL profile I have quality configured so now let's create a policy first so let's create uh, let's allow Facebook first allow Facebook okay now my source will be inside and my source will be 192 168 uh, is it 20 or 10 it's 10 right so 10.0 slash 24 so I just wanted to allow for everyone from that particular subnet and destination would be outside and application so in destination we are not mentioning anything because it's internet and we are not sure about what would be the IP address of Facebook right so it's better to define the application let's allow Facebook now you can see in Facebook there are so many application the inside application or the inner application that I'm talking about so if I allow Facebook I can access everything right if I allow Facebook base so I can only access Facebook page I cannot access app chat or something like that right so let's allow Facebook base right now okay and we'll see whether we are able to see any other uh, things or not means whether I can access the videos I can access the chats or not that we are going to see okay and apart from that application default is okay fine action will be allow okay so we have created a rule to allow Facebook now one more thing we need to allow over here because as if we are going to uh, the Facebook we have to resolve the Facebook name like facebook.com has to resolve right so we have to allow DNS as well so let's allow DNS okay and uh, Facebook has an implicit role over here if I just wanted to show you uh, let's say if I go to application if I check Facebook and if I go to Facebook base now you can see that implicit is SSL and web browsing so we don't need to explicitly allow SSL or web browsing like the HTTP or 443 we don't need to allow that right so we are not allowing HTTP or HTTPS right now because it is allowed explicitly so let's commit this configuration I have not enabled the SSL decryption over here right now okay so let the commit completes and then we'll start the video again uh, so friends as you can see the commit has been successfully done now we'll go to the test PC okay and we'll try to access Facebook from here okay so let's try to access Facebook from here and as you can see that we are able to log into the Facebook now okay now if I go to videos and the video is basically playing as you can see the video is playing over here okay but what we did is what we did we just allowed Facebook base but still the video is visible for us okay now let's try to enable decryption and we'll try to try to test the same connectivity okay so decryption rule so decryption or rule okay I'll just put the source as inside and whatever the IP address that I have 168 10.0 slash 24 destination is outside I'm not specifying any destination because it is internet and in the option I want to decrypt it with SSL forward proxy and let's click OK and let's commit this again so while the commit is happening I'll just stop the video again so friends I have implemented the decryption policy over here and I have committed successfully let's go to the PC again and we'll try to test the connection okay now let's refresh the Facebook 
and just wanted to show you that I have just allowed the Facebook base okay I have not allowed videos and all let's try to see that okay so this is our test PC as you can see it is not working right now let's go to video and I'm just waiting whether it's getting started or not so as you can see it's not opening it's not working if I try to expand this it's basically not working right so as you can see with the help of SSL decryption it is only allowing Facebook it is not allowing the inner one right so basically let's say if I go to the same place and if I add Facebook where is that video okay let's click OK and let's commit this okay so while it is committing let's turn off the recording so friends as you can see I have committed the process here and I have allowed the video okay and you can see in the app dependency we have to it says that you have to allow basically the web browsing so we have SSL connection which is fine uh, we don't need it right now so let's go to the test PC and we'll try to refresh this page okay or maybe okay it's not refreshing let's okay I guess it is slow let's open a new page no problem at all for us so it's going and if I click on video I suppose to see the video should load and it is loading and it is opening as well right so you can see that video is running now as we have allowed Facebook video as well okay so we'll go to the monitor and we'll try to see that see Facebook base is getting allowed like the Facebook videos are getting allowed and uh, if you try to see I guess uh, the other one I guess the Facebook so you can see the Facebook base you can space you can see the Facebook base okay let's try to access something else in the Facebook uh, let's try to explore something else uh, let's go to see more okay let's go to messenger okay so let's try to do something and we'll see whether the logs are coming for us or not so I can see only Facebook base here I will try to check any other things so let's play games now you can see let's play this now I just wanted to see whether it's working or not it's loading 0% loaded So just wanted to see whether it's working or not let's check here as well uh, let's do a filter and you can see the SSL is getting blocked here it is not showing the application name exactly as you can see Facebook app as you can see right now Facebook app which is getting discarded here you can see here so this is how exactly it works when you apply and it is not loading so when you apply SSL decryption then only the sub application so let me explain you again so let's say if I want to allow Facebook and wanted to block their games or chats or videos or anything else so if I want to block Facebook 
if i don't have ssl decryption i can block it there is no problem but if i i want to allow this one okay and i want to block this sub application i need ssl decryption for sure okay as i have showed you the lab how exactly it works and i have showed you by logging into the profile how exactly it works so and uh, how to verify whether it's getting blocked or not okay by checking the log so this is what i wanted to cover in this video thank you so much for watching till the end if you have any suggestion for my video you can reach out to me directly through ch chats uh, on instagram you can send me an email through gmail or you can also comment on the video that will actually uh, helps me uh, also i uh, i just wanted to uh, get uh, some of the comments from you that what kind of problem that you are facing with palo alto or if you have any questions related to palo alto related to pip id or something that will be uh, helpful for other uh, community guys as well the viewer of this particular channel thank you so much for watching till then thank you i'll see you in the next